Hey there, welcome to the AlaskaFlyFishingGoods.com online fly tying tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to finish off a conehead string leech. A lot of guys get the, they get to this point in the tying, and you know you can see this this cone sort of moving around, it's kind of flopping around. There's a sort of little gap in there. Any gap you get like that is always a, that's always an opportunity to add a little bit of touch of flash and a little bit of little color and contrast to a fly. And sometimes that makes a difference between a good fly and a bad fly. So what I'm going to do to fill this is I'm going to take a little bit of this uh, light bright dubbing here. And I'm using uh, hot coral, which is about the same color as my little flash element down here. And so gripping the package here, I'm just going to pull out a little bit of this stuff. About mm, maybe a little bit more than that. About that much right there. That's all I need to dub in a good spot behind here. It's going to hold this cone and give us a little flash and color. So I'm going to dub that onto my thread here. Start and you want to spin one direction. Remember with your dubbing, you, know, you, you never want to spin two directions because then you're just going to end up with a rope and it's not going to be on the thread. So you're going to, I'm going to start this way and keep on spinning this way. When I get a fairly tight dubbing thread here, I'm going to make sure my, uh, make sure my dubbing is all the way up at the front. I don't want to waste any wraps here. And then I'm going to kind of start to wrap this around and then every now and then I'm going to take uh, my scissors or my dubbing needle and sort of pack that up underneath the uh, cone here. And what that does is make a nice anchor for that cone to keep it moving around plus it gets it a uh, it, it sort of breaks it up a little bit if you pick at it. So one more wrap then I'm going to get my whip finish tool here finish it off just inside the inside edge of the cone here cut that off I'm going to take my scissors again kind of pick at it a little bit here and there you go you got a nice little collar so you got a fairly seamless line from the cone onto your rabbit here you got a chance to add a little spot of color and a little bit of flash. It's always a good thing.